Hello everybody, I'm Alex and I'm going to tell you today a simple tip that's going to change your short game forever. Yes, I said change your short game forever. This tip's going to allow you to improve your technique without even realising you are. So I'm going to make no changes to your technique, but you're actually going to make some huge ones which are going to help you chip it close every single time. Now, welcome to today's video on Alex Elite Golf. Today I'm at Carden Park here, absolutely spectacular resort. So, as well as giving you a really fantastic tip that's going to help you improve your short game, I've got a giveaway. Yes, I said a giveaway for you and three friends to come and play the Nicholas course. You've got a chance to win a four ball voucher to come and play here at Carden Park where I am filming on today's video. So how can you actually win this voucher? Well, to win the voucher, you've got to do two simple things. You have to watch till the end of the video to find out how. Let's get into a simple fix and a simple way you can actually change your chipping forever. Now remember what I said earlier, I'm not actually going to talk about anything technical, all I'm going to talk about is feelings that are going to make some massive, and I say massive, changes to your technique. So recently I have been doing a lot of work with Carl Morris and talking about how the brain influences out on the golf course and how actually we can make some simple changes by just changing our frame of mind over the shot. And that is what today's video is all about. So this is something me and Carl have spoke about. So a little bit of credit of today's tip goes towards Carl as well, so make sure you check out his stuff. Now, I want to categorise three different scenarios when we're chipping. We've got three scenarios, okay? So I want you to imagine now, the golf club here is the wheels of a plane, and the leading edge is the front of the plane, and we really want to feel like the wheels of the plane, so the sole here, the bounce, wants to feel like the wheels just touch down. So picture that in your head, the sole of the club is the wheels of your plane. We've got scenario one. We don't want to feel like we crash land, so we're digging into the ground, this motion. We don't want to feel like we crash land. We don't want to feel like we abort the landing, so we don't want to feel we come up on it too early. We want to have that feeling of just getting the wheels to touch down on the ground. Now, you could have several different techniques and how you do this, but if we focus on getting the wheels to touch down on the ground, we then actually have an external focus. So next time we go out chipping, we're not going to rate our chipping on, okay, where did the ball finish? What was the strike like? We're going to rate it on three different scenarios. And we're going to tell ourselves after each shot, was it a crash land, so the leading edge digging in? Was it an abort, where we lift up and come out this shot? Or was it the feeling of wheels down? So wheels down would look a lot like this, creating a bruising action on the ground and really learning to get the bounce of the club to interact. So ultimately, when people struggle with their chipping, we don't have a lot of loft. We get this leading edge digging into the ground, or then we know we've not got a lot of loft, so we abort the landing and try and get this loft and try and add loft and get this ball in the air. Whereas ultimately, if we've got a good setup, we have this feeling of just getting the wheels to touch the ground. So really engaging this bounce. And whatever club we're using to chip with, let's feel like we do that. So I'm going to hit this one away, and we're going to talk about it in a little bit more detail. So, wheels down is my only thought. Really nice contact. And this is something that's really helped my chipping. I always get a little bit too focused on technique, whereas if I just worked on a simple feeling of wheels down, that does everything for me, and it's gonna do everything for you. So again, we're gonna go from the top, and after each shot you're gonna hit, you're gonna tell yourself, was that a crash landing? Was it an abort? Or was it wheels down. So one thing I really like to see in the chipping setup is just feeling like we've got this ball in the middle of our stance and not too much forward chaffling. That is the only things that I'd say I want you to feel. From this position here, all I want you to feel is that we're going to get wheels down. So again there, really nice contact, really nice feeling of bruising and getting the wheels to touch down. So after that shot there, I could tell myself wheels down. Look back onto the framework and go, okay, wheels down. That was a really nice shot. How could we make this a little bit harder for ourselves? If we're someone who really struggles with our chipping, we could take this to the next level. So what I want you to do is I want you to place a coin on the ground. Now, if we all agree here, a coin is a lot harder to hit in the air than a golf ball. Now, what we want to do here is we're going to measure our chipping now. So again, we're not going to look at the effects of what the ball does because it'd be very, very easy for us to do that. We're going to look at this and say, okay, did we get crash land? Did we get abort? Or did we get wheels down? And if we can certainly do it with a, with a coin, then we put something that's bigger there and a golf ball, it's gonna feel a lot easier. So okay, here's my go with the coin. Can we get wheels down? 
nice wheels down. The coin went in the air. And like we both agreed there, it's harder to get the coin in the air than it is the golf ball. So if you're someone who's really struggling with your chipping, before we introduce this feeling or this concept of getting the wheels down with a golf ball, how about we try it with a coin? Let's prove to ourselves we can do it with a coin and then we transfer the golf ball and the reason why I say this is I had a really good success with it with a client who comes to chipping lessons who's really been struggling with the chipping yips so ultimately fear in contact with the golf ball fear in contact out on the course with chipping so what we said is we said okay can we do this with a coin can we take this concept of crash land a boat land or wheels down and can we do it with a coin and then can we transfer that skill that we proved we can do to the golf ball so the moral of today's story is that we don't have to be technically sound to be a good chipper. We just need to have a really good concept in our head about what we're trying to do. Remember, we've got the wheels of the plane. We're looking for wheels down, not crash land and not a boat. Let's hit this final chip shot. So wheels down, ball in the middle of the stance and wheels down. Nice shot, but again, okay, we're not looking at the shot like I said. I think that was a little bit of a crash landing there, which is my bad, bad error. So a little bit of the leading edge digging in. But you can see there, two out of my three chips were wheels down. The last one was actually an okay shot, but I got the leading edge digging in a little bit. So test yourself. Test yourself on not where the balls finish. Test yourself on describing what landing you had, because if we can do this and we can understand what landing we have with the golf club, we're going to take our chipping to the next level, change our technique without even realizing. Yes, I said without even realizing. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. And hopefully this really simple framework of, okay, wheels of the plane now, it's not a golf club. What are they doing? They're not crash landing. They're not aborting the landing. They're feeling like the jaws touching the ground. And that's going to give us a really good feedback. Remember, after every single shot, tell yourself what landing it was. So you've made it to the end of the video and now you can find out how you and three friends can win a four ball voucher to come and play here at Carden Park, one of the best courses in Cheshire voted for. So how can you do it? You've got to be a current subscriber and follower of Alex Elliott Golf. So if you're none of them now, make sure you go and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And secondly, comment down below the three friends you would like to take to Carden Park to win this voucher and the winner will be announced in two days time so make sure you go down below comment make sure you're a subscriber and follower and the voucher could be yours thank you for watching today's video on alex elite golf take that brand new concept with the wedge to take your chipping and short game to the next level